Okay everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been an extremely long time since I posted a video. Life just kind of gets away from you sometimes, but I'm back and I need a creative outlet and I forgot that I did this a long time ago, so I decided to come back. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened since I posted my last video, which I can do a video on that eventually. I don't know if I even have any subscribers anymore. I didn't really have that many to begin with, but here we are. So basically what I'm gonna do today is an Aritzia review. Um, there's a lot of hype on TikTok and everywhere else about Aritzia, and I also buy into that hype, but I think there are things that are not as worth it as people say, and things that are probably more worth it than people say. So I'm gonna go through basically everything that I have and tell you how I feel about it, why I like it, why I don't like it, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about are the Babaton Sculpt Knit items um i only have shirts they make dresses oh i'm like swiveling away they make dresses and everything too but i only have shirts so far but i have a lot of different styles so i'm going to talk about all the different ones okay let's see okay the first one is this like bra top so it's obviously like that sculpt knit material and then it's literally just like cups basically um and it is in this like brown color this looks really huge I, yeah, I have a larger chest, but it also, I never have cleavage, so I don't really know what to say about that. But I don't love this. Actually, I haven't worn it a whole lot. I'm not sure necessarily if it's for like bigger chested girls. Um, it just doesn't look the way that it does. Like, it doesn't look the way on me that it does on other people that have like a smaller chest. So if you're someone who has a larger chest, this may not be your favorite thing. If you're someone that has a smaller chest, you may love this. Again, this varies per person, but I have only worn this like one time and I have not worn it since then. I love the material, but it just, hasn't really been my thing. And also for people with like a bigger chest, this small strap just isn't doing much for me anyway. Okay, second thing is this square neck top. It's white and it's that same material. I would say this one's pretty worth it. I wear this one a lot actually, if I just need like a plain color top and it actually has like a lot of coverage. It doesn't look very big like this way, but it is. Um, and I love a square neck. I've recently decided that's my favorite neck style on myself um so yeah this is just the white square neck top again love the fabric be careful with washing it obviously because it can lose its like white like stark white color pretty quickly if you're not careful like anything else it's white okay i also have this brown high neck top i can honestly tell you i've never worn it so the main issue i have with this is how far down this like arm thing goes um again maybe this is just more for like really thin petite girls. I don't know if I'm just like, or maybe I'm just self-conscious of like this area of my body. But for me, this cuts really far in. Um, I thought I was gonna wear it a ton and maybe I still will end up wearing it at some point because I love the rich brown color, but it just isn't a piece that I ever pick out of my wardrobe because of the fact that this comes down so far. I don't know why I didn't realize that when I buy bought it online, so I didn't try it on, but I was convinced that I was gonna be able to make it work and I, just it hasn't gotten there yet but I do love the color and I love this neckline for like everything but it just has not been the one all right so this next one I have in two different like fabrics um the first one is obviously the Babaton sculpt knit fabric it's this little collar one that has this deep v only issue I have with this is that I tried it on a smaller size and it felt really see-through but now with the bigger size I'm having the same issue with it being like too much fabric slash like it, it cuts a little too low so maybe that was the issue with the other ones I should have gotten in a smaller size I thought that the sculpt knit kind of ran small for me so i sized up like three sizes usually i wear like a large maybe an extra large in shirts and stuff like that just because i don't really like things to be tight um and so i sized up and a lot of it ended up fitting not the way that i wanted it to so maybe just try it on in store but it is a really cute top i do wear it but it's just kind of an awkward like fit but the do the thing that I the do the thing that I do love about their sculpt knit tops in white is that they're usually not see through. Obviously, if you get a size much smaller than the size you normally wear, it's going to stretch the material kind of thin, and maybe it will be see through for you. But I have found that that's one of the main reasons I love this fabric is because it's not see through, and I have such an issue with everything I wear. I feel like being see through, and I just am not trying to put on that kind of show. The last thing I have in the sculpt knit material is this brown beige high neck, not as high as the other neck. I don't really know. Um, the other one was kind of a mock neck. This is just a high neck top and I really like this. I've worn this a lot. I have the same issue with the arms going down too low. Again, maybe this is just a sizing issue. Maybe I need to get a smaller size because the bigger the size, the bigger that hole kind of gets for me at least. But I do really like this. The only thing 
I will say about the sculpt knit material is that I've had an issue with it like pilling and pulling kind of easily. So I'm trying to find an example. Like, I don't really know. You can't really see it. I'll try and find a different shirt that has it, but it just kind of like gets those little kind of clusters of fabric on it pretty easily. And I don't dry these pieces. I air dry them and I wash them on like the, whatever the delicate setting is for washing. So I don't know if I'm just crazy or if I'm supposed to dry clean every single one of these, but I like, I'm not gonna do that. So I don't really know if you can see what I'm talking about on here but just like little balls of fabric will show up. And I'm like, for the fact that these are so expensive, they should not be doing that, especially if I'm washing them like they're made out of delicate silk and they're not. So that's the only thing I have to say about that. But overall, it doesn't stop me from wearing them. So obviously it's not that big of a deal. Sorry, I also forgot that I have this top. That's the same material, the Babton Sculpt Knit. It's just square, like straight across kind of. And again, the only issue I have with this is that, well, the straps are weird. They're hard to understand because the size fits pretty well. I could have gone down a size again. I don't know why I keep getting like the biggest size they offer when in reality I probably take a size down from that. But the straps are really, really thin and they feel like they're going to pop off at any moment. Like look at this. Hold on. I will show you. Like just, I don't, what is that? To me, I don't know. I just, they should be a little thicker and I'm not saying like thicker width wise because I understand the spaghetti strap concept. I just don't love how thin they are. And they're also really long, these straps on this one. So I'm gonna have to get them altered because having this little thing at the very front, it doesn't look as cute as when you just see the strap, if that makes any sense. So I would recommend, again, just try on in store and try and figure out what your size is. I think that's gonna be my biggest issue for everything. Okay, so the next two items, I only have two from the contour collection. I hadn't tried this collection, even though a lot of people talk about it. I don't know why it was one of the last things I tried, but I do actually really like it. So I got another one of those shirts that has a little collar. I like this one better than the first one actually, I think because it's my correct size, but also I like this material maybe better, if not equally as much as the other one. And it's just really a flattering kind of style. I really like that. And then the other piece I have, here's the only issue I have with this. Okay, it's a bodysuit and it's a square neck. I love a square neck, literally my favorite thing ever, is that it is not adjustable straps on the bottom and it is not even a snap strap. It is just a regular like thong strap, which means that when you put it on and off, you have to get completely naked and you can't change the length. So since I'm really tall, that causes a lot of problems for me because it's lower than it should be on my body and it kind of looks not the way it should. But I still like it. I just don't understand how we're at this point in the world that if you have a bodysuit, you don't have like a clasp for it because who wants to get fully undressed when they have to take a bodysuit off to go to the bathroom? I don't understand Aritzia. You do a lot of things well, what is that? Okay, next two pieces I have are from the Sunday. Okay, wait, no, I lied. One is from the Sunday Best collection and the other one is from, I literally don't even know, I thought these were the same thing and I'm wrong. So the Sunday, day, Sunday, I don't have any idea. Aritzia people don't come for me. I don't know what the difference is. They're different, I'm assuming. Okay, but first I have this little tank top. This is literally the softest fabric I've ever felt in my entire life. It's a little bit thin, but this one's like not see-through. I think it would be in white for sure, but it is so so soft. I don't know if you've ever felt those Target pajamas that are like the ones with the button up thing on the front. You know what fabric I'm talking about? It's like that, but it's ribbed and it is so freaking soft. It's so cute. It's definitely a bit short, but I like this one that way because I really just wear it around the house and with nothing outside of the house. So, but I do really like that one. Okay, so the second thing I thought I had from Sunday Best, but it's actually from Sunday. I don't know, I don't know. Is this long sleeve crop top that has like an open back. You see what I'm saying? And then you tie it. Okay, so cute. Literally so cute. One of my favorite things ever. It's definitely short. It's definitely cropped, but that I knew that when I bought it. I love this detail in the back. I feel like, again, the strings are a little thin, but they've never caused me a problem. So I'm like, that's fine. Um, I literally love it. It has such a cute little mock neck. A mock neck? Is that what it's called? I love a mock neck. I think it's so cute and I am in Florida so I can't really ever wear a turtleneck. I can barely wear a mock neck and get away with it for like three days of the year so it's rough but this is really cute. Also in the sleeves are long enough for me which I'm very tall so sleeves being too short on me is my biggest pet peeve. I don't want a like three quarter length sleeve. I want a long sleeve if it's a long sleeve. Right, so I have one thing to show y'all from the Wilfred line. I have had the Wilfred effortless pant. I didn't, I like returned them. I didn't love them because I feel like I sized up and they were too small and also too big at the same time. I, I think I just have weird proportions, but definitely try them on in store because 
they were too small and too big all at the same time which is always so confusing to me but i got the oh my god what is this called i just forgot i don't know what this is called i'm so sorry but whatever this shirt is called it has the sheer long sleeves this kind of like i don't know what this is this kind of fabric is i don't know if you can see that and then it has a little ruffle at the bottom okay so cute i tried this on when i went to my very first aritzia ever in houston like a year ago in a dark blue color i didn't get it then i regret it ever since because i cannot find that color anymore so i got the black i would say it fits very true to size very cute it's a little bit scratchy to be honest with you because this fabric's a little scratchy but it's very very comfortable overall i love the sheer sleeve and that it's kind of like a balloon sleeve it's not tight it's like flowy i wrote this on a date and it was so cute so yes i would recommend this and the last two things I have are from the TNA line. I love this line. It's so comfortable, so cute. Only issue I have is that whenever I go into the store, they only have like one size of every single thing. And I'm like, what, where is everything? So the first thing I have are these little like lounge shorts. These are just the TNA cozy fleece perfect short. They're very short. I don't really wear them out of the house again because my cheeks are at the bottom of it, but I really love them. They're so comfortable and cute. Same thing as always with all the white. Please just be careful when you wash it. These, however, don't seem to get messed up in the dryer or the washer. I don't really understand the difference and why one gets messed up and the other doesn't. It's probably just like a more durable fabric, but I think these are a little more obviously durable than the sculpt knit. Okay, second thing I have from TNA is the... TNA Cozy Fleece Boyfriend Sweatpant. So they're just this gray material. I honestly thought they were white when I bought them online. Don't know how I thought that. They're obviously gray. They just have the little logo right there. And they're drawstring. They are the like flare bottoms kind. They're not really flare, they're just straight, I guess, but they're not like a jogger or anything. Um, they're so comfortable. They're just the same fabric as the other one. And so I do wash and dry these. They're always fine. They're super, super comfortable. Only thing is I feel like not that they shrunk, but maybe I just feel like they're shorter now than they were when I first got them, but I don't feel like they're any smaller. So that could be a me problem rather than an actual garment problem, but I would definitely recommend these. They're very comfortable. If you buy them, you will not wear anything else ever again. Last thing I got, and this I would say is probably my favorite item I own. Maybe, I don't know. It's hard to tell because in Florida, I can't wear this a lot, obviously, but is this sweatshirt. So this is the TNA Sweat Fleece Cozy Fleece Boyfriend Fit sweatshirt in white and it's like a crop they have a longer one but i don't know long sweatshirts look very weird on me they do not do anything for my shape this is so comfortable and it's perfect oversized it's like so great the sleeves are long enough for me which i love they go like over my hands which is wonderful it has a big oversized hood i don't like that little bitty hood like i don't put hoods on but why do you have a small hood um and it's very cute it has the new tna logo which they got like they redid their logo oh my god can i show you or what so it has the little this is painful i don't love that i don't love that there's this girl on tiktok that was like i'm not buying anymore from tna until i fix that i i understand because it's irritating but this is actually the second time i purchased this jacket because i got a stain on it i bought one before and i got a stain on it so this is my second one i love this i would absolutely recommend this a thousand thousand times over okay so that is it for my aritzia collection i will be linking everything i can find down in my bio and i'll try to include a picture of the actual item when i show it because i know i didn't try any of it on um i can try stuff i don't like trying stuff on honestly it just doesn't ever look the way i think it should when i try it on then try to record it but thank you all so much for watching i'm glad to be back please like subscribe let me know if you want to see anything if you are still subscribed to this channel i literally don't know how many people are here anymore hopefully someone is seeing this other than my mom but if my mom watches this i love you too anyway hope you all have a great day Bye.